What's up guys, it's Jay and I'm back again uh, with another quick little eBay shipping video. Um, if you saw my last uh, my last shipping video, I explained how to ship any, pretty much any flat object using the book burrito method. You take a corrugated cardboard, a flute, roll of uh, just pure corrugated cardboard and uh, you roll the book or the DVD or the CD or whatever up in it twice, cut it, tape it attach a label and that's pretty much it very simple um, I'll leave a link to that because this this is kind of tied to that but this specific video is going to be on how to ship blue CDs um, it's one of those things that kind of took me a little I don't know a little thinking when I started out I didn't really have all this stuff in place at first which you know if you're new to eBay you probably don't either but uh, first thing you want to do is uh, cover the part product with some kind of something uh, some kind of film or something to keep to keep the tape from touching it when you attach it to the corrugated cardboard because you, you want to attach it with, to the cardboard with tape just to keep the product from moving around within the box. So what you're going to do, I use a saran wrap. This loose CD actually has a bonus DVD in the book, but it works the same way if it's just one, just a, uh, one single DVD, or excuse me, one single CD or DVD that doesn't have a book or anything. It works the same way. Wrap it up in saran wrap. And what I have here is a, this is actually a comic book board. And you could probably wrap this thing in the corrugated cardboard without worrying about it getting damaged. But just to make me feel better, I have comic book boards. What I do is I tape it to the comic book board fold the board down to where it kind of forms a little paper case around the CD. It just makes me feel better about shipping it. I don't like shoot, shipping just a loose CD within a box. So what I do, if you don't have a comic board around your house, see if you can find some other kind of a slightly rigid card stock. But pretty much, like I said, line the CD up in the corner, fix a piece of tape to it to keep it from moving off of the board fold the board down to where it, you know it's even with the side and you're gonna have a little bit of extra load. a little bit of extra board overhanging there just cut that cut out the square that way it fits just right around the seat but now you pretty much a makeshift uh, little cardstock key, uh, CD case you see you're gonna ship and you're gonna take this and you're gonna tape it to the uh, corrugated cardboard and roll it up the same way I displayed in another video I'll do that real quick for you I'm not gonna give like an in-depth step-by-step because I could do it quicker without explaining it But just to show you what that looks like, I'll do it anyway. Take it to the cardboard twice. Cut it to where that uh, second layer ends. This is what you're left with. If you got a packing slip, go ahead and add that packing slip. You roll it up in there, unroll it a little bit, add the packing slip, roll it back up. And as you can see, you got two layers. Like I said, this video is specifically ah oh man, messed the tape up. Like I said, this uh, video is specifically for the shipping blue CDs, but this method applies to pretty much anything flat. And I, like I said, I already have another video that kind of explains this a little better, but. Not the point of this video. 
try to get there quick. And that's it. There's your sealed uh, package. And that's the easiest way to, to ship a, uh, a single CD that doesn't have a case or anything. And without trying to go out and buy cases to send your loose CDs out, that doesn't make sense financially. <laughs> so, so, yeah, just use some paper, use some cardboard, make a little makeshift case. Um, get yourself a roll of the corrugated 8-flute cardboard roll up your CDs and something like that tape down the edges tape down each side tape down the center um, print your label and fix it here you know you can use a regular printer cut it out and tape it on which is what I have to do right now I do have labels but I ran out this week so but yeah very very simple and a cheap way to send out your CDs your little CDs so appreciate you guys hanging out with me and we'll see you next time if uh, this helped you hit the like subscribe notification bell all that good junk and we'll see you on the next eBay video. Peace out.